It's kind of weird that horror movies are so enjoyable. Why do we take such great pleasure in scaring the hell out of ourselves? If you want to see the darkest horror movies, you should definitely watch our picks for top 10 the best scary horror movies ever made. It's time to grab your favorite movie time snack and try not to get scared. Dead Snow 2 2014 Dead Snow 2 Red vs. Dead is a 2014 Norwegian comedic horror film, sequel by Tommy Wirkola. Continuing from 2009's Dead Snow, it centers around the lone survivor Martin, portrayed by Viger Hull, who now has a zombie arm and teams up with American zombie hunters, the Zombie Squad, to thwart Nazi zombie leader Herzog's plan to annihilate a Norwegian town. Filmed in Norway and Iceland, the film fuses gore, humor, and action, spoofing zombie and war films. Despite low box office returns of $1.2 million against a $6 million budget, the film won Best Horror Film at Austin Fantastic Fest. It appeals to fans of horror comedy and exaggerated plot lines. Firestarter 1984 Firestarter, a 1984 horror thriller based on Stephen King's eponymous novel, directed by Mark L. Lester, depicts Charlie McGee, played by Drew Barrymore, a girl with pyrokinesis on the run with her father, Andy, from the shop, a covert agency wanting to weaponize her. The film, set across the U.S., explores family, power, and corruption through a blend of action, horror, and drama. It garnered two Saturn Award nominations and earned $17.1 to $18.9 million, deemed disappointing. Cockneys vs. Zombies 2012 Cockneys vs. Zombies is a 2012 UK zombie action comedy directed by Matthias Hohen and penned by James Moran and Lucas Roche. Costing £2.25 million, around $3.15 million, it stars Rasmus Hardiker and Harry Treadaway as Terry and Andy. They rob a bank to save their grandfather's retirement home from demolition, joining forces with cousin Katie, Michelle Ryan, and other residents to combat a zombie horde released by a construction project. Set in East London, Cockneys use their brain and brawn to resist the undead. This film is a blend of gore, comedy, action, parodying numerous zombie and crime films. Nominated for Best Horror Film at the British Independent Film Awards, it made only $109,518 worldwide, a fraction of its budget. House of Dark Shadows 1970 House of Dark Shadows 1970 is a U.S. horror movie inspired by the Dark Shadows TV series. The film, directed by Dan Curtis, features Jonathan Frid as Barnabas Collins, a 175-year-old vampire awoken by a treasure hunter. He returns to his ancestral home, Collinwood, and masquerades as a distant relative. Barnabas falls for Maggie Evans, Catherine Lee Scott, a lookalike of his former lover, Josette. He seeks a cure for his vampirism from Dr. Julia Hoffman, Grayson Hall. Set in Maine, this horror drama sees the Collins family dealing with threats and enigmas. Despite its low budget, the film grossed $1.8 million, appealing to horror and Dark Shadows fans. <laughs> Julia's Eyes 2010 Julia's Eyes, a 2010 Spanish horror psychological thriller directed by Guillermo Morales and co-written with Oriol Paulo, was produced by Guillermo del Toro, Joaquin Padro, and Marta Naganera on a budget of around $6.15 million, starring Belen Riuda as Julia, a woman battling progressive blindness. The plot delves into the puzzling death of her blind twin sister, Sarah, suspected to be a suicide. Julia uncovers Sarah's stalker, a shadow-dwelling man intent on her death. Set across Spain, the film weaves a suspenseful narrative of danger, deception, and self-discovery, embodying themes of blindness, identity, and obsession. 
garnering several accolades, including a Best Actress Goya Award for Reda, and earned a global box office of $12.88 million, marking a triumph for Spanish cinema. I Sell the Dead, 2008 I Sell the Dead, a 2008 horror comedy, was directed by Glenn McQuaid, who also co-wrote it with Peter Falk. Produced and co-starred by Larry Fredenson, the film was made on an estimated budget of $500,000, starring Dominic Monaghan as Arthur Blake, a grave robber narrating his life to Father Duffy, Ron Perlman, on the eve of his guillotine execution. His tale includes grave digging with Willie Grimes, Fessenden, and encounters with supernatural creatures. Set in 18th century Ireland and England, the film intertwines horror and humor, parroting several horror tropes. Nominated for the Best Screenplay at the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, it is loved by fans of horror comedy, gore, and absurdity. Slaughter High, 1986 Slaughter High, 1986, a horror comedy blend by George Dugdale, Mark Ezra, and Peter Lytton, was made on a $2.1 million budget. The narrative centers around Carol, a popular girl implicated in a gruesome April Fool's prank that left nerdy Marty disfigured and institutionalized. Ten years later, an invitation to a reunion at their dilapidated old high school leads to a brutal vendetta by a jester-masked killer revealed as Marty. This slasher parody was filmed in England despite its American setting. The Pit, 1981 The Pit, a 1981 horror film, is directed by Lou Lehman, panned by Ian A. Stewart, and produced by Bennett Fode and John F. Bassett. It follows Jamie Benjamin, a 12-year-old outcast portrayed by Sammy Snyders, who befriends mysterious creatures, trogs, in a secluded pit and uses them to exact revenge on those who torment him. The trogs' release wreaks havoc in his town. Notably, Jamie's talking teddy bear urges him towards mischief. Gianna Elias stars as his babysitter Sandy, his secret crush and one of the Trog's victims. Shot in Wisconsin, this film combines horror, dark humor, and provocative themes, attracting fans of offbeat, low-budget horror. Requiem pour un Vampire, 1972 Requiem for a Vampire is a 1972 erotic horror fantasy film held by Jean Roland, funded by Sam Selsky with an estimated budget of 5 million euros. The narrative follows Marie and Michelle, portrayed by Marie-Pierre Castel and Marielle Dargent, respectively two girls who flee a reform school disguised as clowns. They find themselves in a vampire-occupied castle led by a senior vampire played by Michelle de la Salle. Though transformed into vampires, they must retain their virginity to live. Torn between liberty and allure of the vampire realm, the duo navigates danger and seduction in France. Frit Vilt 2 2008. Fritville 2, a Norwegian slasher film of 2008, directed by Matt Stenberg and written by Thomas Moldestad, 
Martin Sundland and Roar Uthwag is a sequel to 2006's Cold Prey, with a prequel following in 2010. With a budget of $2.6 million, the film features Janik, portrayed by Ingrid Bolso Berdal, the sole survival from the first film. The story unfolds in a remote hospital in Oda, Norway, as Janik wakes up, discovering her friend's bodies found by the police, and the seemingly dead killer is alive, endangering hospital occupants. Teaming up with Daniel, a young boy, and Camilla, a doctor, they confront the murderer. The film, a blend of horror and thriller, won multiple awards and garnered positive reviews, earning a worldwide box office of $3.38 million. Here are the top 10 scariest dark horror movies in the world. These best horror movies of all time don't just want to haunt your nightmares, they want to sneak under your skin to haunt you in your waking moments too. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, check out other clips from Top 10 Movies Horror, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.